In this tutorial, we will discuss a necessary workaround when trimming or applying a transition to a twixtured clip or sequence from within Final Cut Pro. You may have encountered a shift in which frames are displayed when you trim or add a transition to a twixtured clip. That is, you change the endpoint or apply a transition to a twixtured clip and suddenly the whole sequence seems to be shifting in time. You might be wondering what you're doing wrong or that there is a bug in Twixter. The answer is that you are doing nothing wrong and that Twixter is doing the best it can. The problem is due to a bug in Final Cut Pro. This doesn't mean that you can't trim or add transitions to a Twixter clip. It just means that you have to follow the following steps to work around this bug in Final Cut Pro. First, I will demonstrate the problem, and then I will show you the workaround. Let's take a look at this footage. I have just used footage made up of numbers 0 to 150 to demonstrate so you can really see what's going on. Here's our original footage. Let's make an interim sequence, as you would if you were slowing the shot down. I copy and paste the sequence a few times on the timeline. Typically, we would now nest the sequence in another sequence and add Twixter to our interim sequence. I am just going to slow the shot by 50%. I go to the end of the sequence and it says 75, which would be two times slower. But let's say I want to trim the head of the shot. Let's see what happens. Watch the 75. If I trim the head, that number shouldn't change, but it does. This is a bug in Final Cut Pro. Don't despair though. I will now show you a workaround. Incidentally, the same bug occurs if you have a transition between two adjacent sequences on the timeline as well, but the same workaround will fix that too. Step 1. Create your interim sequence by copying and pasting the original sequence a few times on the timeline. Step 2. Create another sequence and take your interim sequence and drop that into the new sequence. Let's call this new sequence Twixtered Sequence. Step 3. Add Twixter and make the speed change. Step 4. Go to the sequence which contains the edit that you want to cut this twixtered sequence into and drop the twixtered sequence onto this timeline. Now you see if we want to trim this, we don't get strange source frame changes when trimming. Also, if there's a transition applied, we don't have any problems. Just to recap. The rule of thumb here is never apply a transition or trim the clip that has Twixter directly applied to it. Always nest it one more time before adding it to your edit. This is just a workaround for a Final Cut Pro bug.